guys, it's Lori Crawford here at Scratch Made Bakery and Cafe. Today we're doing another How It's Made video. We're gonna make some of their infamous macaroons. It's gonna be a great day. So what do you say we go inside and get started? Alrighty, right now we're in the kitchen here at Scratch Made Bakery and Cafe. With me right now we've got Mackenzie. Now Mackenzie, uh, what are we cooking up today? Today I'm gonna show y'all how to make Fruity Pebble French macaroons. They're the best seller here. Like Fruity Pebble as in the cereal Fruity Pebble? The cereal. Oh my gosh. They're pretty okay, delicious. Cool. Let's See how we do it? Awesome. So first, I measure out um, almond flour, powdered sugar, and then ground up pretty pebbles. So why the almond flour? Um, the almond flour? flour is the base of the macaroon. That's okay. what makes the chill. Um, so the almond flour and powdered sugar and pretty pebbles will get mixed into our egg mixture that we're about to start. Then when we add it together, that's what we piped out. The batter from that is what makes the chill of the French macaroon. So I'm going to put the eggs in. And it's about four egg whites, and then we do cream of tartar. And that just helps everything bind together. Um, I'll let it go for a second to get a little frothy in there. And then we'll add just granulated sugar. And so pretty much all we're doing is just whipping egg whites, um, just like you would do if you were going to make a meringue for the top of the pie. Okay. When I lift this, it'll pull up a big blob of them. And then just take it off. Here's the egg whites. So they're extremely stiff. There's not a whole lot of movement. I can dump it upside down. It's not coming out. I'm going to add about a third of my flour mixture. And with this, you can mix pretty roughly with it just to get it mixed in. But the second half that we put in of the flour, we have to hold it in gently because it'll break down all of the air in the egg whites and not as a in. And I'll just take them in my hand and just crush them as I cook the top of these. When we're done packing them out, they have to rest for at least an hour. They form a film over the top of them and it kind of feels like skin like. It's almost an extra skin on top of it. And that keeps them from busting out of the inside when they cook in the oven. Um, I cook them at 225 for about 16 minutes. So after they've set out for an hour, I can pop them in and they'll hold their form. So after this, all I do is take some buttercream that I have mixed with pretty pebbles as well. Oh, that looks great. And then I'll just take apart this little guy and fill him up. And then we also like to add a little bit of extra to it. And then we just smush them right together. And then there he is finished. Beautiful. That is beautiful. Here. You guys have a little bit of everything. I'm noticing the cupcakes in the background getting made. So. <laughs> and then you do brunch on, on Saturdays. Saturdays. Yes, it's from 10 to 2, and we change our specials weekly, and then we have a set menu, and we do free 